Hey YouTube, this is Subiyoshi Brother 64 I'm here with my ep my third episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. So first, real quick, I'm gonna go through the menu real quick because I forgot to do that in my other videos. So in the menu, you see several different options here. First off, there's items. If Sora has any items in his inventory, he can equip them to himself. Equipped items will not show up in the stock inventory. You have to go to Sora to see them. Right now, Sora has three item slots. So if I had more potions, I could equip three to him. Currently, he only has this one equipped to him. I don't really plan on equipping any more because there's no need to. Then there's equipment. Here you go. You can go into whatever character you have. Currently, I only have Sora, and you can change their equipment. So the, right now, Sora is equipped with the wooden sword, and I don't have anything else to equip him with. So that's it. Then there's abilities. Currently, Sora has zero abilities, so we'll get. I'll get more into that when we get more stuff. Customize, same thing, status. You can come in here to check your character status. It shows stores HP, MP, AP, strength, defense, level, and experience needed to his next level. Also, when you hit right and left, it'll actually scroll to different screens. You can see the items equipped, weapons and accessories, etc. Then there's configurations, it's just game configurations. You can have it on auto lock, target lock, blah blah blah, whatever. So I just want to go over that real quick. So real quick, I'm going to attempt this fight one more time. So let's see if I can do this. Now I found a pretty good strategy. My strategy for this fight is one, take out Titus first. Two, don't stay on the ground for more than a few seconds. If that long. Because by doing that, you actually increase your chances of dodging attacks because you're always moving. Either that, I'm just really lucky. So, Titus is your biggest threat right now. Waka's not too bad of a threat since you're continuously moving. And his blitz balls don't hit moving targets well. Titus, however, will hunt you down. Same thing with Sophie. So, well, Sophie or Sophie, whatever her name is, I don't care. And my health is low, of course. Yeah, I'm probably gonna fail this fight several times before I actually win it on video. And I'm dead. Hey, you guys. Uh, I have plenty of time, so. If this video ends up just being an entire video of me attempting this fight and failing, I'll cut it and then. Well, no, I'll make a second video to get uploaded along with this one. So don't worry. But yeah, like I said, come, I come, this is my strategy. So other people have other strategies. But this is just this is just my personal feelings towards this fight. Well, not on expert mode, I win this fight every time. But on expert mode, this fight is like three times as hard. And I'm hit. Oh, I did it. Yes. And stop attacking. There we go. Titus is down. So now that Titus is down, your second target is Sophie, or whatever, whatever this little girl with the ugly yellow dress's name is. She falls a lot, so that actually makes her a little easier to take down. But Sophie is too is good at getting little cheap hits, and that's why she's so dangerous. Oh wow! I blocked. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. If you block Waka's blitz ball while you're blocking on somebody other than Waka. If the ball will hit that person you're locked onto, not Waka. And last but not least is Waka. He's the easiest to take out since you can just knock the blitz ball back into him. But knowing me, I'ma die to him so real quick. Just for the heck of it, I'll use the potion so I don't have to have a video of me just fighting these three. Yeah. Just take Waka out real quick. And bam. And your reward for beating all three of them? A potion. So just like the fight with Riku, you can just grind on these guys and earn some potions. For me, I actually had to use a potion to get through that fight, so if you can get through that fight without using the potion, it'll actually be a lot of help. 
now real quick I'm about to go and give this stuff to Kyrie and try to advance the game so if you decide to do this and advance the game remember you cannot come back and fight Riku anymore so fight Riku as many times as you want right now before you do it but me I don't need to fight Riku too many times yes go home and here comes a cutscene so I'm going to shut up home is out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. So, suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. It's just... I've always wondered why we're here, on this island. If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Kari, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, real quick, I apologize for interrupting because there actually is something after this, but what kind of parents in their right mind would let their kids go out on a raft and just go adrift to sea to wherever they wanted? Because in the direction booklet, Sora is, if I remember correctly, 15, Riku 16, and Kyrie's 14. What parent in their right mind would let their kids do that? I just wanted to get that off my chest real quick. I'm going to shut up for the rest of the cutscene. Hopefully this won't be to the end of my video, so... I'm shutting up now. Sora! You wanted one, didn't you? A palpu fruit? If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Come on, I know you want to try it. What are you talking? <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! This is serious! 
Okay, now this is the second day on Destiny Island. I only have a little bit of time left, so I'm going to actually try to jump straight into stuff. Because usually I like to joke around and stuff, do just random stuff for a bit, but since I don't have a lot of time, I'm going to attempt to jump straight in. Come on here and talk to Riku. Hey Sora, a rascal needs a name. Let's see, how about High Wind? What would you call it? Okay, so since I'm Super Yoshi Brothers, it's gotta be something to do with Yoshi. How about... Something really stupid. Hey, how about the usual? Let's do it. That sounds really gay. I'm just saying. Putting it out there. You guys at it again? Alright, I'll be the judge. The usual rules apply. Take any route you want. First one to tag the tree and make it back here wins. If I win, uh, I'm captain. And if you win... I get to share the palpu with Kyrie. Huh? Deal? The winner gets to share a palpu with Kyrie. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. okay. For this race, I rarely ever win this race. So I'm going to try to win it. But I have no promises. So first off, just try to come across here. This one platform will drop, so be careful of that. If you climb up this ladder, Riku won't. So, it's the best thing you can do. Jump onto this little thing right here. And of course, Sora jumps off, but that's okay. This is my personal favorite route. Jump across the tops of these trees. If you, if you, so long as you don't fail like I did, you'll be fine. So yeah, like I thought, I'm not going to win this. You don't really get anything special for winning. You get just this uh, shiny orb, I think it's called. Getting the shiny orb, uh, it can be sold once you get out of Destiny Island area. So, it's only, it really has no purpose in the game. And I failed this race miserably, but I really don't care. It's not important. It does not affect the story at all. But if you do decide you want to win this race, you'll get the little orb. You can sell it once you get to later areas in the game. It's worth a... Uh, minimum, a little bit of money, not much though. Eh, shut up. If you win, he will still say the same thing, so don't even worry about it. Alright. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna close it here. This is Super Yoshi Bros. 64, and I'm closing out. So I'll see you next time in episode 4. Let's play Kingdom Hearts. Peace, peace.